So this is QD here. I uh, saw so from the comment section on the type of JS video that a couple of you are having problems uh, running it or implementing it on your website because a few changes have been made to the repo. Um, there are no huge changes, just a few minor details, and there's a slight mistake in the documentation. So I will go ahead and show you. But as you can see, the repo was dated a couple of days ago. So let's get started. So first, Yarn was added as a package manager. So I'm quickly going to use Yarn to download everything. Now, if you're not used to uh, terminal or command prompts, just follow along. It's not much of a big deal. I'm going to start by saying npm install Yarn, and we're going to install it globally so that you can use it in any directory you want to. So it'll be a few minutes, actually a few seconds, and Yarn will be fully installed. Okay, good. Uh, actually, did I get that right? Yeah, install Yarn. Actually, I think I did. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and create a directory and let's call that directory type. So that's the directory that all the files we download is going to go into. And let's cd into type. When we list it, there's nothing there. Okay, good. So let me see if I have the directory we just created. There it is, type. My directory typed, and there we go. Okay. So now let's download the files using yarn add type.js. So this will download the package. Awesome. So there we go. The package, the full package has been downloaded. Mode modules, type.js, and we have everything we need to get started. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this index file. And as you can see, this is the demo page that shows you type to JS in action. So let's try to create our own. I'm going to start by creating a folder and let's call it local typed. So this is where our local copy um, would run. And I'm going to Open Sublime Text, File, Open Desktop, Local Type. Awesome. So let's create a new file. Let's call it index.html. We don't want it in type, just the master we want it in local type, which is our local folder we created. Save, and there we go. Local type index. And this is the index file we just created. Let's just put something in it to make sure we have the right file. Good, so that's the file. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to go back to the documentation and see the layout. And so this is the first thing you want to copy. This is the diff structure. Um, it contains the ID um, that a script is going to pick up to run type.js. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this and replace. Copy, replace. Good. Now let's look at it. All right. So we have uh, two lines. Type.js is an awesome library. It types out sentences. Good. Now since we're going to use couple of just libraries. Let's go ahead and uh, add. Great. I'll do it later. Add a few things. Let's add the jQuery using Google CDN. So Google jQuery CDN. Could have just used Bootstrap for this. It's so easy. Mm, there we go. Awesome. Um, what else do we need? Let's create another script tag over here. 
And now what we need to do is to link to the type.js file. Now that is when this will become necessary. So let's go to the file we downloaded. If you come in here, you can see we have type.js. Uh, that's pretty much what we're going to use. You can use this version, it's much smaller, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the entire folder and put it in a local folder. There we go. And so I'm going to say the source is going to be read type.js. All right, that's fully linked. Awesome. And then we have this over here. There's nothing happening, so we still need to add the script um, right here. This is the script we're adding. Now, this is where you can see that there's a slight mistake and it can get a little confusing. Maybe it's not a mistake, but it's really confusing. So if I put this here, it's actually looking for the class element. But as you can see over here, we don't have element in this div. And so if you just do that, it's not going to work. So what you want to do is to change element to typed, right? Which is this ID over here, the ID for that span element. So you can change this to typed. And then strings, type strings, we already have that over here. So now let's see. And then now you can see it's working already, right? And then you can start adding some of the various options to it, like um, type speed and say 100, let's see how this does. Okay, so now that slows it down a lot. The back speed is still very fast, so now we can say back speed. Um, let's also say 100 for that, keeping it even. And it works perfectly well. And so you can go ahead and add any of the available customizations over here, uh, it's being listed. And also even adding functions and all of that, everything else um, would work as expected. And of course you can style the cursor to make it bigger, um, to look nicer. And so that's it, that was the only issue. Uh, this element class over here, you've got to change that um, to an ID of typed in order to get it working. Um, I hope this answers your questions. If you have any more questions, you can put it in the comment section. I'll look at it and try to answer it. Thanks.